Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part 13 of an Elder Scrolls Online Greymoor Edition walkthrough. Uh, so, when we last left off, we were in Morthal, and we need to move on to the next town to warn the next Jarl. Actually, let me put it on the correct quest here. Danger in the hold. So, yeah, we need to go to the other hold, but... While we were here, we met somebody. We found out there were some weird undead wolf attacks and visions of ghosts going on, so we're going to deal with that before we go to Morthal. Let me also queue for a dungeon. So I think some of the crazy stuff was happening over here. Yeah, that definitely looks like some undead wolf or something. Right, I heard somebody yelling for me, but I don't know where he is. Over here? What's up, Macabre? Are you mad? Don't step foot anywhere near that farm. Those... Bone wolves will rip you apart limb from limb. They turned everyone there into zombies. Bone wolves? By Moloch's nethers, what else would you call them? Felt like just a normal day of working the field. Then a freak storm blows in. Heard whispers on the wind and saw a woman's ghost in the snow. That's when the beast swarmed from nowhere. How did people turn into zombies? Anyone brought down by wolves turned. Their skin shriveled and froze before my eyes. Then they attacked me. People I've known for years. Havel, the guy who owns the farm, holed up in the house. Could you check on him? I'm worried for his safety. Yeah, I'll head to the farm and find out if Havel is safe. Still think you're mad, but I appreciate that you're willing to check on Havel. He's a grumpy old coot, but he doesn't deserve whatever this is. You'll need a key to the house. One of the farmhands should have one, if you can take it from them. How did you escape? When those bone wolves came out of the storm, we scattered. Some people tried to defend themselves with rakes, but were farmers, not warriors. Other than myself and maybe Havel, I don't know who else is still alive. A man named Brune made it to Morthal. Brune's still alive? Yes. One of those tusking wolves latched onto his leg, but that didn't slow him down. He fended it off with a hammer and kept running. If he can make it to town, maybe I can as well. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, you heard whispers and saw spirits? They started off faint, like a low murmur. As the storm grew, we could make out words. And laughter, like from a child. Then we saw the spirit in the storm. A young woman running toward us through the field. I've never been so scared. What did she do then? The spirit faded before reaching us. I thought perhaps the storm had played tricks on my eyes. But the shocked look on Havel's face, it seemed like he recognized her. Before I could ask him, the wolves attacked. Okay. Alright, so we gotta make it inside of this house. I actually don't see any zombies anywhere. Someone must have killed them all. So this is gonna be easy for us. Uh, he's got the door locked from the other side. But here's the farmhouse key. Who is that? If you came to eat me, you better turn right around. I didn't come to eat you. I came to save you. What are you doing in my house? First, all my workers rot away into monsters because of frozen skeleton wolves. And now strangers are traipsing about my home? Macabre told me you were trapped in here. You saw those creatures in the field? 
If I leave, they'll make me like them. I have all I need in here to hold out until they are gone. Besides, I'm not ready to see who's waiting for me out there again. Who do you think is waiting for you? I saw the spirit of someone we thought disappeared years ago. The Jarl and Lady's daughter, Freywin. They never talk about it. Too painful, I suppose. I guess she died if that's her ghost who brought these cursed wolves on us. Uh, why would Freywin want to haunt you? No clue why she'd bring this upon us. Freywin always loved visiting the farm. Actually, there's someone who might know about Freywin's fate. A clever woman who speaks with spirits named Old Mjolnir. I know her. Perhaps you could ask her to help fix all this. All right, I'll ask Mjolnir if she has a solution to these undead. Her hut lies to the northeast. She is a strange one for sure. Always stealing my chickens for her unnatural magics. But she's the only one who understands the ways of ghosts. In the meantime, I'm going to stay right here until this all blows over. You said Freywin enjoyed visiting the farm? Oh, yes. Even as a little girl, she'd wander out here on her own. Always giggled while chasing the chickens around the field. Eventually, Lady Ninetha would arrive to bring her home, apologizing for the disruption. But I never minded. It was nice. And you never found out what happened to her? Well, I heard things. Morthal is a small town, and people talk. Stuff about evil wizards kidnapping her. But I keep to myself and focus on the farm. No time for storybook tales. Tell me more about Mjolin. That old witch makes my skin crawl. Using chicken bones and blood for magic is unnatural. Anyone who works with Shaw's power should be watched closely. But they say she talks to spirits. Might be helpful when convincing Freyren's ghost to leave. Okay, so obviously that's really more intended for someone that's never met Miolan. We've already met her, but... Okay, I am close to the power I seek. The Nords and their insipid burial sites leave the dead open for pillaging and pilfering by any fool with a sword. Uh, you know what? This is just a lore book here. Uh, I've seen that book in several places. just gonna steal all this guy's food but it's not counted as stealing so I don't think that makes much sense but oh well I thought I had a different potion. Here it is. Not sure why that's not hot barred. Now, I went to town before I started recording this, and uh, I deconstructed all the gear that we had and all that kind of stuff, but I forgot to upgrade my horse, and now I'm kicking myself because I'm thinking about how slow this horse is. I have to remember to do it before I uh, log off. Another traveler approaches. Come, warm yourself. Ah, so you come to me again. Were our dealings with your pale friend not enough? Well, get close to the fire. Warm up. Pose your question. Undead wolves attacked Havel's farm, and he saw Freywin's ghost. He thought you could help. 
Wondered when they would send someone. Zone outsider surprises me. Yes, I know of the fleshless fools. But a ghost of young Freywin? Disturbing. I may have answers for this haunting, but I'll need cursed specimens to study. You will get them. Sure, what specimens do you need? Blood and tissue. Tear some decayed skin off an affected person and scrape dried blood from a cursed wolf. Bring me these things so I can understand what kind of magic we're dealing with. I fear there is more to Freywin's haunting than we realized. Okay, I'll collect the specimens. Good, go on. Return here when you have the samples. A simple ritual will provide the details we seek. In the meantime, I'll consult my notes about Freywin's disappearance. Okay, I can ask her here, why did Havel call you a clever woman? But of course, we already know about clever women, so I'm going to skip that. Did you know Freywin? I did. She was beloved by the whole town. Even those of us pushed to the edges. Her disappearance hit hard. And the circumstances... Well... What were the circumstances? No, no, I will not tell you what is not yours to know. At least until I can see what causes these attacks. Come back with the samples and you may learn more. All right, let's go get the samples. Now, where did I put those rune stones? And here's another quest marker over here. It's a dead person here. If you're the sorry bastard that stole my property, welcome to the end of your miserable life. The poison works fast. I may be a simple fisherman, but I know how to kill a lousy thief. Of course, if you're not the unlucky snowback that choked on my little trap here, bring this note to the docks in Morthal. If you have any information about who or what stole my goods, I'll pay. Uh... Why didn't that person go to the docks? Maybe she really is the thief? But then, if I was her, I would have gone to the docks and claimed I wasn't the thief. That's pretty strange. <laughs> Alright, I got the, the flesh from the cursed person. I just need to get blood from one of these bone wolves. Or two of them. Such sloppy magic. I'm trained. Well, it's glowing like it's got some loot for me, but then I can't, uh, I can't loot it. <sighs> yeah, I can't loot this either. I'm gonna have to log out and back in. We got it that time. Now I've got to re-queue for the dungeon because it took me out of the queue. Seems like the game's lagging really badly now. I've got another quest marker now. 
guess this is taking me to old Miolan. Such sloppy magic. I'm but trained. I... The scent of death enters my nose. Your time with the cursed creatures has marked you. Let's hope not permanently. While you hunted, my studies proved fruitful. Do you have the blood and skin I require? They will complete my understanding. Okay, so apparently I finished the quest. I, for some reason I thought I needed another wolf blood and not just one. I've obtained the specimens. Yes, these will do nicely. Fresh, intact, thrumming with magic. This shall make the ritual easy. Hmm. They have an icy burn to the touch. Hope they weren't too much trouble. Perhaps those walking corpses willingly gave up their skin? <laughs> what will the ritual tell us? Many things. Is this a spell or a curse? Where does it get its power? Magic holds unique patterns, like footprints in the snow. If it's known to me, perhaps you can track the source. But first, I must extract this knowledge. I'll wait for you to complete the ritual. Good. I won't be but a moment. Just as I feared. Come, listen to a tale. The ritual bears out my fears. I recognize the curse corrupting life around Morthal. Years ago, a death mage named Maxton killed a group of town guards at Tienstag Ruins. The same magic she used then now animates these undead. Why did Maxton murder the town's guards? All I know are whispers. They say Maxton kidnapped Freewin and forced her into the ruins. Naturally, the Jarl dispatched the guards to rescue his daughter. But just as they arrived, a tempest of ice arose that froze the soldiers where they stood. I see. What became of Freewin? Vanished. Until now, it seems. So the link between Freywind's ghost and this curse still remains unclear. To find a cure, I need Maxton's original spell. Go east to the ruins. Retrieve anything that could reveal the nature of her work. I'll look for information at the ruins. Good. Meet me in Warthal with what you find. I wish to examine the wounds made by these undead. And take this rune. It bears an enchantment that will ward you from the curse's worst effects. At least, temporarily. All right, I want to know more about Maxton. As I said, she was a conjurer of death. From what I have seen, her magical understanding is incomplete. This curse is wild and sloppy. She approaches power like a babe crawling into a giant's camp. A shame that Freywen became caught in it. Where did she come from? I never spoke with her, but rumors still sometimes drift into my camp. Maxton was a mystery in Morthal. Appeared late one evening to rent a bed at the tavern. No one saw her in the day except to bring food. At night, she left to wander the woods. What was she doing in the woods? Oh, a forest night stroll is not so odd for a mage. It's the best time to collect mushrooms. And dug up bones hold the most power in the moonlight. But Maxton sought something in the woods. Perhaps she found it among the ruins. Do you know why Maxton brought Freewin to Kienstegg ruins? This I don't know. Let us hope that whatever you find in the Kienstegg ruins reveals what she wanted with the young woman. I saw a ghost of Freewin at Havel's farm. Interesting. Even as a child, Freywin wandered outside Morthal to visit her people. She would come to my hut without fear. I would prepare her rabbit stew as we discussed her life. She told me once that Havel's farm brought her great joy. Okay, I actually didn't see a ghost of her. Uh, but you're supposed to see a ghost of her. For some reason, it didn't happen. Why would she curse a place she enjoyed? An excellent question. So many of the answers elude me for now. With any luck, you will know more once we meet again. 
Tell me more about this protection rune you gave me. A simple stone imbued with the warmth of life. After the events at Kienstag Ruins, I explored new paths of magic for counteracting necromancy. One such trial led to the rune you hold. It should protect you from the worst of the curse's effects. And if it doesn't? Do you doubt my ability? My practice of magic extends back to when I first heard Shore's whispers as a child. Have faith when I say the ruin will protect you. And if it doesn't, well then, I'll visit your frozen statue. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's comforting. Can you use the rune magic to end the curse? A shame, but no. We require something much more powerful to undo magic this strong. Energy directly connected to the curse's origins. The rabbit blood from which I drew the magicka to charge that rune will not suffice. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find uh, what's going on with this poison, this poison person we randomly found. I guess that's what this quest marker right here is all about. What is it? Here's Angrar. Careful not to disturb the fish, stranger. Hard enough to catch them as is. And even when I manage, they get stolen anyway. I'm sick of feeding thieves. I can barely feed my family. I found this note. Is it yours? Yes, that's mine. Ugh. Smells awful. Looks like something may have swallowed it. I guess that was the point. Where did you find it? I found it next to a dead Nord woman. Ah, I'd hoped it was a wild animal. I'm sorry for whoever it was, but I didn't have a choice. My family is the most important thing to me. I won't let them starve or some thief makes off with a full belly. At least you know what happened to your goods now. Yes, I do. Thanks to you. You've likely ensured my family will survive the winter. Thank you. Here, take this. I know it's not much, but I can't let you walk away empty-handed. Okay, that's a medium belt. We don't want that, but we can deconstruct it. Thanks again, friend. You've given me a sliver of hope in these dark times. I can't wait to get out on the water again. I'm much more inclined to fish, now that I know I get to keep what I catch. Okay, so apparently this Nord woman was the thief that was stealing his fish, so she's dead now. What will you do now? Well, now that I know what the problem is, I've got an advantage. The smartest thing to do would be to save up some more money and do my best to safeguard my wares. <laughs> Provided the fish keep biting, at least. Alright, now we can go back to what we were doing, which is... To try to find out why Freywin is haunting this place. My buff food wore off. What's this? Iron ore. Stones.
See, now there's two quest markers. What is this? Oh, disrupt the hero storms. Got it. That's just the daily quest. Nothing to worry about there. The hero storm happens to spawn, then we'll drop what we're doing and go defeat it. Uh oh. I didn't mean to pull those mobs. I've researched this ritual for years. I just need your help. Okay. This guy's obviously on the same quest as us. Most pages are scorched black or covered in a thick layer of ice that burns at the touch. Only a few entries are legible. I suppose I could whine or complain that my search for an education led me here, to Morthal. Graciously described as a backwater on the best of days, there's not much that I would recommend to other travelers. The damp scent that wafts off the rivers pervades everything. And from the moment I arrived, the locals made clear they don't relish outsiders in their midst. Nobody acts hostile. They just keep their distance, which is fine by me. However, three details about this little town cause me to appreciate it ever so slightly. First, if the sun is up, the sawmill operates non-stop. It produces a loud, steady drone that helps my sleep during the day. My research into the dark practice is most efficient through the dim hours, so I welcome the ability to enjoy a full day's rest. Additionally, Morthal is precisely the hub of necromantic power that I hoped for. It hums with death energy. My nightly hunt for the source should soon prove fruitful. Then, with some adjustments, I can begin the siphoning ritual. Even a partial extraction of the local power should provide enough potency for several years of study. Lastly, I met a local who has become quite the enjoyable companion. She's the daughter of the town's Jarl, although she admits to never leaving Morthal. She exhibits a strange wisdom and curiosity about the world that I admire. Her mother originally comes from solitude, so perhaps she is the source of this unexpected worldliness. But most of all, I found that she's kind. We spend quite a bit of time together, and I've told her about the nature of my investigations. She did not recoil in disgust as many would. Instead, she promised to keep my secret and assist where possible. I confess that I look forward to spending more time with her feel like I'm much closer to determining the necromantic source around the town. Last night, I wandered east while testing the soil for traces of Mortis energy. The new moons next week should properly amplify the ambient resonances. Tracking the locust should be easy during that period. While in the woods, we saw a figure standing in the distance. She watched us but did not move. Freewin called her a clever woman, a local term for hedge mages. For the first time since my arrival, I grew nervous. Interference from some nosy old crone is the last thing I need right now. Oh yes, Freywin joined me on this trip. She had to sneak out from her house, which I found endearing. I enjoy her presence. No one could ever accuse me of being a romantic, but walking under the stars with her felt precious. Refer to them as the Kinsteg Ruins. No one that I've asked knows anything about their history, but without a doubt it contains powerful spiritual emanations. I must adjust the Lenovo siphoning ritual for the sheer volume of energy. But those calculations should be simple enough. Perhaps Freyman would agree to be the living attractant. I planned on using a wolf or some other nearby wildlife, but a born and raised native to these lands would be more effective. Lenovo claimed that his attractant suffered no ill effects. All right, so pretty clear what happened here. Uh, Freyman wasn't kidnapped. She went willingly. There goes a hero storm. 
shattered necromantic focus. The formation of ice has been permanently hardened into a focus for necromantic energy. All right, I think I'm going to go see. Yeah, there's a hero storm right there. See if we can get out of here and go fight this hero storm. Leave these ruins. Explain why you're following me. Who are you? And why do you pursue me? First at Havel's farm, and now you emerge unscathed from these accursed ruins. If Maxton sent you to bring me back to her, I won't go. Everyone should just stay away before I kill them as well. Everyone thinks you're dead. I'm seeking the cause of a curse turning people into zombies. No, I still live. For now. The curse I carry will kill me soon enough. I only hope to die close to home. I didn't want to destroy any more lives, or watch memories from my life resurrected to taunt me. How do we stop your curse? Its power grows as it feeds off my life energy. The curse ends once I am gone. I only wish I could say goodbye to my parents. I know it is not my place to ask favors, but could you bring my mother a message? Tell her I'm sorry for everything. I'll convey your message to Lady Nepha. Thank you, stranger. Please, bring her this locket, so she knows the message is from me. Tell Mother not to worry. There's a place I love nearby, where I can watch the good people of Morthal live their lives. I can be happy there in my final moments. Why did Maxton curse you like this? This was not what she planned. Maxton believed she could improve her magical ability by communing with the powerful spirits that inhabit Kienstag ruins. She asked my help with performing a summoning ritual, but it went horribly wrong. What happened? Maxton misjudged the ritual's difficulty. As she struggled, ice grew over the walls, and winds blew wildly. She almost gained control, but suddenly Thane Alstrom and his guards stormed the ruins. Maxton's focus slipped, and the ritual exploded. So, that's what froze the soldiers. It shames me to admit, but yes. All those soldiers, my friends and neighbors, dead because of my actions. And now my return home killed even more people. Being near the end is a blessing. I saw a memory where you called Maxton your love. Oh yes, she was. I loved her dearly, and I truly believe Maxton loved me back. When she realized she'd accidentally cursed me, she swore to find a cure. But as time went on, growing her necromantic power became her only interest. So she never actually kidnapped you? Is that what they say? No. I willingly joined her ritual, which makes me just as guilty for all this death. Maybe I should have convinced her not to chase so much power. We might still be together then. Yeah, it's very sad. All right, I'm not sure if we're going to make it to this hero storm in time, but I'm going to try. Oh, there's nobody here. Harrow Storm in Morthal. Continue the offerings. This reliquary is filled. All right, there's people fighting it now. Hailstone Valley. <laughs> Somebody's saying, no, it's not a hero storm, it's a hailstone. A bountiful harvest. Not good. And join your comrades in this world. Oh, 
Somebody to heal me. You are struggling, Christ. But you will not starve our ritual. Oh, the dungeon queue came up. But I'm busy fighting. The exchange is complete. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Initiate the exchange. I declined the dungeon. We'll have to requeue. You know what? I'm just gonna take this dungeon. We'll do that hero storm some other time. Once I've gained more levels and have more abilities. You're supposed to be in the. Wait, who are you? What are you doing? My Kwama mind's been taken over by. All right, it's not gonna let me see all the dialogue. But basically, his Kwama mind's been taken over by thugs and he wants us to kill them all. Set it up, please. No, I don't want to use the seed. I want the lore book. It's true. No rest for the weary. What's the delay? Where are the regular mine workers? These blasted thugs came in. You'll never get these <laughs> eggs. Light it. Heal me. Sadri, get it! What's the delay?
this. Okay, just a message from my guild, nothing to worry about. I'll read it later. Uh-oh. I should have let the tank pull those mobs. How close are we to level 15? Go. Almost there. Maybe yes, those eggs down there are in better shape. Do me a favor and take care of the undesirables down there. I'll stay here. And shoot. Heal me. Blueprint for an Argonian table. Nice. Now see, I don't like that the voice actor for the villain, for the boss, and for the guy that hired us is the same, so it's confusing. And he doesn't do a good job of like making the voices sound different either. We're gonna have to take out these ads. They're starting to overwhelm us. Ah! Keep getting hit by that attack. It gives me plenty of warning and I'm just slow. Take this guy out. Here we go. We'll have this place cleaned out in no time. Oh, this is good stuff. Old Celos must have been raking in a fortune. So you believe there was gold in here, fools? Terva Sud, drop those weapons, murderer. Ah, Navina. I suspected you were smarter than your father. You'll pay for this, Sadri. Well, well, you'll have to catch me first. Either Beck, no! Ah, 
the murderer's accomplice. I think I'll kill you first. Now hold on, lady. You got the wrong idea. You mean you're not in league with that Sadri character? I find that hard to believe. Well, I agreed to help, but what was that about a murder? Turva Sadri is a murderer. He brought in these thugs to drive out our miners, then killed my father and stole the deed to our mine. I guess he didn't expect me to come after him, but you cut a swath through his protectors. He said we were searching for your father. Searching for his money is what he meant. He's convinced father had a cache of gold somewhere in the bottom of the mine. But if father had such a cache, he took the secret to his grave. I'm sorry, what can I do to help? Well, I need to stay here and see about getting this mess cleaned up. As for you, go down into that pit and catch up with your former accomplice, Turva Sadri. I take it you want that deed back? Yes. And by the corpses I saw on my way in, I'm sure you know how to deal with him. Oh, and you can keep anything valuable you find down there. I guess it's only fair. charge my weapon. Those look like dwarven contraptions. Luckily, they don't work. Two bosses down? I think most dungeons have four bosses, so there should be two more. All right.
Alright guys, are we going or not? Cavern Patriarch. Big flying squid thing. Here comes the dwarf and stuff. This is the final boss. This guy does a spinning attack. And if you're near it when he hits you, it'll do a lot of damage. Especially on veteran. This is just normal, so it shouldn't be that bad, but... A veteran, it's rough sometimes. Here he goes. Level 15, we can weapon swap now. You want to kill me? this guy? Come and get me. All right, and now I've got to make sure I turn in this quest. I know one time I did this on another character. I uh, left the group, and then went to go turn in the quest. See, there's these things blocking the way. So I wasn't able to get through and turn it in.
so. Did you find Sadri? Did you get the deed? I got the deed to your mind. That's the deed, all right. I didn't think I liked you when I met you, but you've grown on me. Now to deal with the hole the Kwama dug. There's some kind of Dwemer ruin down there. This whole affair might turn out better than I thought it would. All right, she's giving me Automaton's Helm of House Celos. It's a medium helmet. Probably not going to be that useful. Um, yeah, probably not. What a mess. We'll be eating omelets tonight, I can tell you. Got a skill point, though. That'll be useful. So you had no idea this dwarven cave was here? None whatsoever. And I wish the burrowers had never broken through. This is nothing but trouble. Oh, I admit, it looks kind of pretty in there. But no miner's going to want to work in a pit that's infested by rolling buzz saws. Burrowers? You mean the Kwama opened up the dwarven cave? Just doing what comes naturally. And now their warriors are defending the hive. Dwarven mines are said to contain great treasures. Kwama eggs are treasure enough for me. Thank you. That's what I know, and that's what we'll stick with. All right, I got some gear from uh, finishing this dungeon, and let's go ahead and take our level 15 rewards. And I want, hmm, do I want a level 15 restoration staff? I've already got a restoration staff. Let me check. What do I need the most? I've got a level 16 Frost Staff, which I could wear right now. And then I've got this Restoration Staff that's level 13, but it's part of a set. It gives me 1375 maximum health. This is probably part of a set too, though. Uh, part of the profit set gives me 1449 maximum health. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what I want is the restoration staff. And then let's see what we can get with these. Um... <sighs> Let me check and see what we need to get with these three skill points. All right, here's what we want to do. We want to morph this to Soul Harvest. The difference is that it afflicts the enemy with major defile, reducing their healing received. While slotted, anytime you kill an enemy, you gain ultimate. Well, heck, that happens anyway. What's the difference between that? And then we want to get Soul Shred, which we... Wait, do we already have Soul Shred? Okay, so we've already got it. So, with the other two skill points, we just want to get maybe some armor skills or some racial skills. Like, let's get Gift of Magnus, increases our Max Magicka. And then we'll do Evocation, increases our Magicka recovery by 2% for each piece of light armor equipped and reduces the magicka cost of our abilities by 1% for each light armor equipped. And that is all of our skills, but we leveled again. So, let's take a Taylor's Advanced Crafting Box. And now we've got an extra skill point. But we've got all of our passives. Maybe we should go ahead Well, we could morph Grand Healing, or we can get Essence Drain. Give me just a minute here. All right, it's just one skill point. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. We still can't increase any of our crafting abilities, except for provisioning. So, 
This will allow us to use standard green recipes. You know, that doesn't seem all that useful right now. Okay, here. Maybe we can get gourmand. Adds five minutes to the duration of any eaten food. Let's do that. And now we're ready to set up our second bar. Alright, let's do... Grand Healing. Need Swallow Soul, Veiled Strike, and Impale. Then we'll do Blockade. Wall of Elements. And then... Soul Shred right here. Alright, this is kind of an AoE attack. Whereas this one is more... Um... Yeah, this is more single target. So if we want to do an AoE, we'll do Soul Shred instead. Alright, and now we're ready to leave this dungeon. Alright, so we reached level 16. We can now swap weapons between a restoration staff did I not equip my restoration staff I did not all right now we should be able to swap between destruction staff and restoration staff so if we hit one does an AoE heal. And if we swap and we hit one, it does blockade. And we've got a Frost Staff now instead of whatever we had before. Alright, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll find Freywin's mother and let her know that her daughter is still alive. Thanks for watching. See you next time.